Find the perimeter of a rectangle with the length and width given below. Express your answer as a simplified rational expression and state the domain. So just as a little bit of a review, the perimeter is just the distance around the rectangle. And so if it has length w and width, sorry, length l and width w, the perimeter is going to be this length plus w plus this length again plus w again. Or the perimeter is going to be 2 times the length, because you have to add the length twice, 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, since you're adding the width twice. So let's just use this expression with these expressions right over here and then simplify it. So our perimeter is going to be equal to 2 times our length. So that we could write it as 2 times 2x plus 5y over x plus 4 plus 2 times the width. Plus 2 times the width is right here. x minus 3y over x plus 4. Now immediately we can constrain the domain. The only number that will not work for, the, for x here is the number that will make either of these denominators 0. And that number is negative 4. If x was negative 4, then the denominators would be 0, and these would be undefined. So we'll constrain the domain. We'll say x cannot be equal to negative 4. And then we can simplify from there. The first thing I do is I just distribute this 2 on the numerator. So this is 2 times 2x plus 5y is 4x plus 10y, and all of that's over x plus 4. Plus, now distribute this to 2 times x minus 3y is 2x minus 6y. Just multiplied both terms by 2 over x plus 4, and not x plus y, x plus 4 over x plus 4. And we have to remember, x cannot be equal to negative 4. Now we want to add these two rational expressions, and lucky for us, we have this. We already have a common denominator, so we don't have to find a common denominator. So this is going to be the same thing. This is going to be equal to. I'll just do it right here. Scroll down a little bit. We have a common denominator of x plus four, and then we could add the x terms up here. So we're going to have the four x. Let me do that in another color. We have the four x being added to the two x. So that is going to be equal to 6x. And then we have the 10y being added to a negative 6y, or, negative, or 6y being subtracted from 10y, depending on how you want to view it. So that is plus 4y. And of course, we're still constraining our domain. x cannot be equal to negative 4. So that's our simplified expression for the parameter. You could factor out a 2 here if you want. Not clear which one is more simplified. I'd argue that this one is. But you could write this as. 2 times 3x plus 2y, just factoring out a 2, over x plus 4, over x plus 4, where once again, x cannot be equal to negative 4.